they would not have said, Lord, your God, you know, in Acts 2.39. They were quoting directly from the Hebrew Scriptures. There's nowhere in the Hebrew Scriptures originally where it says, Lord, your God, or Adonai. It's, you know, it, it, it's not there. It's not worded that way in the original Hebrew. It's Jehovah, your God, or Yahweh, um, your Elohim, not Adonai, uh, your Elohim. Um, so these were Jews quoting the, you know, the Old Testament that had Jehovah's name in it. And again, if you use the idea of the Greek Septuagint, there's evidence to show that the original Greek Septuagint had Jehovah's name in Hebrew characters. The point, though, and this is what shows it's diabolic, why, you know, are you against the apostles using Jehovah's name sometimes? Why is that such a big problem? You know, like, what is the big issue that, in other words, like, even just forgetting about Jehovah's Witness, just in and of itself, what is the reason you're so against the notion of the apostles and Jesus, you know, and people in the New Testament ever saying Jehovah's name? And in general, or, I mean, do you think they ever did? I mean, what would be the hang-up against that? They were not the superstitious Jews about Jehovah's name. These, you know, these were the apostles, and they had the truth and stuff like that. Um, why are you so against them ever, like even in the, you might say, well, there's no New Testament Greek to show. Well, we don't have the original autographs. The point is common sense. It doesn't make sense for them to say, if they're quoting the Old Testament, and Jehovah's name appeared in the verse that they're quoting originally, it doesn't make sense to say that they quoted it incorrectly or inaccurately with the word Lord your God when that's not what the original Bible actually said. That's changing the word of God in a sense. And this Greek Septuagint cop out only goes so far. Number one, they didn't always quote from the Greek Septuagint. That's number one. And even if they did, there's evidence to show, as I said repeatedly, that Jehovah's name was actually in the original Greek Septuagint in Hebrew characters. The point I'm making is if they said, you know, if the apostles quoted it as Lord your God, even though the original Hebrew, uh, you know, had Jehovah your God and, and stuff like that, they're actually not quoting it 100% accurately. They're changing the original word of God then. And that's basically what you're saying, that it's okay to do that. In other words, that the Holy Spirit, which, which um, inspired it to be written as Jehovah, Jehovah, you know, like almost 7,000 times in the Old Testament originally, not Adonai, it was, you know, Yahweh then it was it's superfluous. It was the Holy Spirit it was just joking. It doesn't matter. You could, you could translate it any way you want now. Why are you so against the apostles ever using Jehovah's name? When Jesus or Paul quoted Psalm 110, where it says, Jehovah said to my Lord, it doesn't, you know, in the original Hebrew, it's Yahweh said to my Adonai, not the Lord said to my Lord. Again, you know, they quoted the scriptures. And if you say, well, they quoted the Greek Septuagint, so what? You're going to say that the Greek Septuagint had it all changed? Again, there was evidence uncovered in the 1960s that even the Greek Septuagint translation of the Hebrew scriptures had the name of Jehovah in Hebrew characters inserted into the Greek text of the Greek Septuagint. That a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of drones don't understand that. So, but that's, that's regardless, because the apostles didn't just quote from, from the Greek Septuagint anyway. They quoted various, and sometimes they made their own paraphrases and this and that. But where the divine name would occur, they're going to substitute it like the superstitious Jews did. They were not that way. They were not like the rabbinical, um, you know, uh, th those who were in error doing that kind of thing, hiding it and suppressing it, you know, um, because of paranoia. No, the apostles and Christ, when they quoted the, quote, you know, the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, that had the tetragram in it, the original Hebrew Scriptures, they would not have said Lord when it didn't say Lord in the original Hebrew, Adonai. It said Jehovah, Yahweh. So again, what's the problem with the apostles and the first century Christians and the writers of the uh, Christian Greek Scriptures ever writing or at least even saying Jehovah's name as, you know, in general, at least sometimes. Why are you so uptight against that notion? That's just bias and, um, and, and childishness, uh, you know, after a while. And by the way, not all Trinitarians uh, necessarily or people of Christendom are, or are that against the notion, you know, some of them say, yeah, the apostles use Jehovah's name. Uh, that's not a big deal. They'll just say that Jesus is Jehovah the Son. Or 
they might say Jesus is equal to Jehovah the Father. You know, but uh, there are some Trinitarians who don't mind the name Jehovah, even not just in the Old Testament, but even used by the apostles. They, they don't have necessarily a big hang-up uh, about it. They just believe that Jesus is equal to Jehovah and everything. Uh, but I'd say many people, many Trinitarians, many, peop- many churches and theologians and writers of Christendom do have a bit of a hang-up. And even just regular people on the Internet or whatever, um, you know, have this uptight thing, and it's not really warranted. Because why is that, if you, if you really analyze it? Because, they, again, why are you so against the apostles ever using Jehovah's name? You know, what's the problem with that exactly? <laughs> this shows a diabolic little, little thing going on here when you dig deeper.